Right now, we have a segment that we call Gone But Not Forgotten. Miss, Mrs. Peggy Jones Davis. Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Um, I guess it's the sad part of it. Um, in loving memory and respect of the deceased alumni classmates of 1974. Good evening to my 1974 classmates. As I stand before you today, I'm honored to pay tribute to our beloved classmates. Let us take a moment to honor and celebrate the lives of the dear loved ones in our class who have left us. Their spirits remain forever in our hearts as we gather once more to cherish the memories of our dear friends, their laughter, kindness, and friendships continue to inspire us. During the early years after graduation, the Muskegon Heights class of 74 lost its first soul, Curtis Poncho Hill. We have continued to lose classmates throughout the years up until the most recent with Michael Murdoch being the latest person. We have lost approximately 70, hear me well, 70 of our class members to date. These losses are lost limbs from our alumni tree. It causes many of us left behind to stop and reflect after each loss. However, we bow in humble submission to God who never makes a mistake, so be encouraged. It is his will and he knows best. In respect and memory of our dearest deceased classmates, think of this poem. A limb has fallen from the alumni tree. I keep hearing voices that say, grieve not for us. Remember the best times, the laughter, the song, the good lives we lived. While we were strong, continue our heritage. I'm counting on you all. Keep smiling and surely the sun will shine through. Our minds are at ease. Our souls are at rest. Remembering all how we were truly blessed. Continue traditions, no matter how small. We miss you dearly. Go on with your lives. Don't worry about our falls. So keep your chins up until the day comes when we are together again. Could I have the class of 1974 to stand as we pray tribute? The class of 1974 wishes to pay respect to the deceased classmates. If you cannot stand, please bow your head if you choose to sit. As I call the names of our deceased, we will have our bell. Ulysses Alcorn, 
Darcel Lynn Bailey, Kenneth Brooks, Ronald Brown, Beatrice Bryant Price, Ricky Buchanan, Shelley Burks, Theodore Roosevelt Cage, Gloria Chapman James, Stanley Cheeks, Sonia Clanton Fulgham, Levita Cooper Parker, Ronnie Lee Cox, Sharon Culp Pace, Brenda Curry, Charles Ely, Alan Fox, Gloria Gardner Johnson, Stanley Gardner, Gregory Grigsby, Randy Henderson, Marcel Hendricks, Tyrone Herman, Curtis Hill, Carolyn Hunt, Dorothy Hussey Lang, Ernestine Jackson, Gordon Jackson, Kathy Jackson, Rosemary Jackson, Connie Jefferson Porter, Albert Johnson, Calvin Johnson, Ronnie Johnson, Brenda Jones, Kathy Jones, Mark Kelly, Dennis Kirks, Anthony Langston, Frank Langston, Linda Leslie Franklin, Gloria Denise Lewis, Lewis Manley, Michael Maycroft, Kathy McBride James, Castle Matters, Michael Murdaugh, Gregory Norman, Larry Parker, Lynetta Penn, Tyrone Perkins, Willie Earl Phillips, Kathy Reed, Archie Robinson, Arvon Russell Gamble, Lee Sang, Linda Scott, Alan Shepherd, Reverend John Shine, Jillian Smith, Lee Stiegel, Sharon Sidnor, Bobby Taylor. Eberhardt, Anthon, Anton Thomas, Angela Tony, Clara Vickers, Robert Walker, Paul Junius Williams, Margot Wilson Williams. As we honor them, let us not lose ourselves in the sour of loss by mourning their absence. You may be seated. But celebrate their lives, legacy, and impact. Let us find comfort in the memories we share, the laughter, the tears, and the love. Let us remember them not with sadness, but with the joy they brought into our lives, the lessons they taught us, and the love that we shared. They were a blessing in our lives, which has been a light that never will dim. They have left footprints in our hearts, and their spirits will continue to live in the garden of our memories. I would like to thank everyone for your love and support that has allowed the bereavement committee to continue to represent each loss by presenting flowers 
and a resolution and representation of physical attendance at each funeral or memorial. This is an unimaginable time for most families and friends. Losing a loved one is an incredibly difficult and an emotional experience. It is important that we show our love and support during these times of heartfelt support become evident as it allows us to pay tribute to our classmates' life, share fond memories, and provide comfort to the families and friends. A few words of comfort have a significant emotional impact, helping those in attendance find solace and collect connection through shared stories and experiences. We do not want any, any alumni passing to be in vain, not one. If any way you have contributed to the bereavement fund, again, we say thank you. We would not be able to participate without your generosity, and some of you have truly gone above and beyond the call of duty. The bereavement committee wants you to know how much you are appreciated. Thank you again for your kindness and for being the amazing people you are, because few people possess the consideration, unselfish, and loving people we have in our class. This is humbly submitted by our 1974 Bereavement Committee, Dr. Sandra Webb Sane, who could not be with us tonight, Bereavement Chairman, Mrs. Peggy Jones Davis, myself, and Mrs. Evelyn Corral, Crowell, our bereavement representative. We would also like to give special thanks to our classmate, Michael Smith. There was a couple of times when we could not make it, and we sent the tribute to him, and he traveled, and he represented us well. Thank you.